Right now, I'm still trying to kind of like learn what the end game is, you know? Guys, look at my character. Boys, look at my torchlight character. Frost Bitten Heart Gemma. God damn, level 97. Dude, I really like this League Mechanic though, man. Like, this League Mechanic is fun. It's like, there's like some strategy involved, right? A little bit of strategy involved. Not too much strategy though. Like, if you like PoE and you like games like uh, Last Epoch and like uh, Good Air RPG, you should try it out, man. It's free. I'm, I'm telling you, you might, if, if you don't like the art style, I can understand. But if you're, but for any other reason, if you're not willing to try out the game that's free, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. This is the league mechanic, right? So, so in this game, every league, imagine like some of the craziest PoE leagues, okay? And that's their starting point because the game is new, right? Like, like all their leagues are good. Um, they take the best parts of, uh, of like PoE and other ARPGs and they just like, boom, just put them in the main game. Yeah. And all the seasons went core. Dude, it's, it's wild. Oh, one thing that, 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 uh, Torchlight does very well in its leagues are the skill trees. So nowadays, I think almost all the recent, um, leagues have this big skill tree. Okay. And they usually add something to like the character skill tree too. So you know how like uh, PoE had like a Senses and then Wildwood a Sensei and then uh, uh, like the, um, what's it called? Atlas tree and like all that shit. Like Torchlight adds that stuff every league too. So it's like, it's real nice for like progression. Uh, how big is the skill tree? So there's multiple skill trees, okay? So here's the main skill tree from any like you would expect from like a de facto RPG skill tree, right? You have like three skill trees here. Like these are like, Think of these as cluster jewels that you roll, right? So these are like self-crafted. You have like skill trees for the league itself. So all the leagues that have gone core have like a skill tree like this or like most, some of them are bigger. And then there's like little things in your skill tree, like for example, candles and shit, right? You have candles here. Um, There's, there's actually quite a bit, dude. It's so good. It's so good, dude. You guys should try it out. If you guys like ARPGs, try it out, man. Like I, I am still a complete noob. Uh, I'm level 97. But like I'm, I'm still kind of like a like a noob at this game, and I'm I'm enjoying like the learning aspect. You know, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of customization, a lot of depth, dude. This this build is the best build I've ever played in Torchlight. You guys want to see my damage? Yeah, watch this, watch this, boys. All I did was switch on pass on crit. Wait, hold on, what? Never mind. I'm at I'm at a, I'm at 200 billion now. I'm at 200 billion now. I gained 10 times the damage by switching to cast on crit. Lord have mercy. I'm about to. Oh, the scaling of the game. When I first started, we were at like 4 million. It went 4 million to 14.9 million to like 4 billion to 15 billion to 25 billion into into right now 200 billion. Right? That's that's kind of like, it's like this, like exponential. Guys, guys, check out my build, ready? All right, here we go. This is my build. Oh shit, hold on. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait, wait, let me ramp, let me ramp. Oh my God, look at my build. I just run around. If only Pewee, Ouch and Go Mask could feel this good. Hey, look, look, how, look how fast the mapping is. You just click on the area you want to go to. And then uh, the, the map rolling is done in the tab. There's no like going to a stash, picking the, you know, it's like all my maps are ouch and go, by the way. Okay. Every single map that I've, that I've been doing has been like pretty much ouch and go. There's no like, there's no like, oh, I got to buy sextants. I need to buy fragments. It's just like, I just ouch it and then I go. No, no, it is. It is legit ouch and go. Oh my God, I'm ramping. I'm ramping. <laughs> Holy! Wait, hold on. The PoE maps weren't. Uh, the PoE maps were out and go plus. This is like my the the way I farm with this entire character, guys. Is every day after my PoE streams, I'll play for like a couple hours, and I'll just do out and go. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I swear, I'm me mom, dude. I'll show you guys my trade. I'll show you guys my trade history. Uh, I would literally just play a couple hours a day out and go, and I have I and now I have 200 billion damage. Okay. If you guys are in our guild, you, you guys can, uh, you guys can attest, dude. All right. Two hours of Torchlight a day, and now I'm popping off. 
It's just like a cozy. It's a really nice cozy break from Pewee, actually. Dude, one thing I like is that they let you uh they let you auto turn on the charge, guys. Like imagine in PoE if you could like toggle shield charge, and basically shield charge, what it would do is it would always follow your cursor. So that that's one cool thing about this game compared to PoE. So so S is like furious charge in uh Diablo 3, right? Or it's like think of it like shield charge um in, in PoE, but there's this a setting here. Uh, where is it? Is it under battle? So for the travel skills in this game, you can do auto guide. And what that does is when you press it, you automatically use it towards your cursor. So it saves you so much RSI. Isn't that crazy? Oh, also, you know the warden map hack in Path of Exile, Wildwood? Um, so in Torchlight, you get the warden map hack for pretty much every league mechanic monster. You can just like, you can just see where the mobs are. So anyways, like this, this is the, um, <laughs> so this is the league mechanic, right? You choose, so what I chose there, the first time you choose like a talent, like a roguelite talent, and that affects like your rewards for the entire run. And you build like a, kind of like a Lake of Calandra-ish kind of thing. So like the, the first, select here, I'll show you. The, the first selection was right here underneath my rewards. So this is like the roguelite talent that affects everything, right? So like I I want to focus on building Nether Realm bubbles, which are like the uh, PoE equivalent would be uh, Sextants and Scarabs, right? That's the reward. So like you see this, like I've these are these are randomly generated. So I want to add Nether Realm bubbles, right? Because I want them to uh, to upgrade, right? And so like it adds. So each of these things are like a think of these like an incubator, like a massive incubator, or think of them as like uh, a delirium reward, right? So I'm building these rewards, and I and I pray that I don't get cucked uh, when it says like chance for nightmare, thirty percent chance to get cucked. Yes, didn't get cucked. So basically, if you succeed that roll, guys, on this league mechanic, it means you get another round of rewards. It's insane. If you get cucked, then you're done building. No more Bob the Builder ring, and you have to go in and like collect your rewards. So right now, um, I have. I'm trying to get Nether Realm bubbles up to Rainbow because Rainbow is like Omega Juice. Uh, I mean, ooh, one to three Nether Realms that are blue or better. Yes! Ah, oh, shit, they're all only blue. Okay, I got Nether Realm, but blue. So we gotta work on quality now. Oh shit! I I succeed. Wait, what? Guys, I succeeded the uh, 50 50. Fuck Jim. Fuck Champions. Adds two nether realm bubbles that are the same quality. Okay, so I'm full though. What if I just do this? Upgrades the quality of one bubble. Damn it, it upgraded the gear bubble, dude. I want I want to hit these yellows. I need these yellows to turn into red, so there's a 45% chance they turn into like dream, right? 70%. Oh my god! Guys, I just succeeded as a 30%. Uh, wait, why is it lagging? I just succeeded a 30% roll, guys. That was 70% chance to trigger nightmare. And I popped off. Wait, change the type of three to five bubbles to Nether Realm. Yes. Please. Oh! Okay, close, close. 10% chance to pop off, though. Damn it! Okay, I was close. I was close. This will be a big loot explosion, though, right? Surely. Oh. Uh, no! Guys, there's a rainbow bubble omen. But I'm full on rewards. I think it's better to upgrade one, right? Look at this. Oh, oh, okay. 45% chance, please. Did it do it? No! It hit the wrong ones. God damn, dude. Oh, the RNG is ridiculous, actually. It hit the wrong ones. All right, so it's still gonna be, guys, it's still gonna be massive loot explosions, right? This will still, like, I filled up every single tile. This will be massive loot explosion, surely. I mean, insane. Yep, look at that. In, oh, two FEs, two FEs. Open these up real quick. Oh, yo, beacon, level five beacons are good. Grab that. Hmm. This is pretty good DPS, man. I, I feel like this is like decent DPS. Oh. 
Can I blow bubbles? Mmm. Dude, the loot explosions in Torchlight are very satisfying. I gotta say. Uh oh, uh oh. Like, it's just like, there's so much loot. There's just so much. Wait, I level up my gems. Okay, last one. This is like, <laughs> you know what's funny? This leaf mechanic is literally like, it's like spires of abyss, right? You kill, you kill this spire and then it like drops loot and you get like four of them per, uh, per realm. Right? And then like the last one is always like juice. Look at this. The last, okay, right, right for the, right for the loot explosion. Watch this. Oh! Oh my God! Ah! I can't, ah! Oh, it feels good. It feels good, dude. Get out of here. What are you playing? This is called Torchlight Infinite. It's fun, man. It's uh, it's a good ARPG. Just try it out. Try it out.